What's up YouTube, this is Prince at ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade from iOS 11 general about so basically right there iOS 11 back to iOS 10.3.3 so if you're on iOS 11 and you don't like it for whatever reason or if you just want to downgrade just in case there's a 10.3.3 jailbreak in the future then this is how you do it. So I got my iPhone 6 right here plugged in to my computer. I have iOS, I have iTunes open. My phone is on iOS 11 as you can see right there. And yeah, that's what you need. Latest version of iTunes and also you need your firmware. You're gonna have to download it from this website right here. So this is the website right here. It will be linked in the description. So basically you're gonna go through and basically select your device, your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod, and all that kind of stuff so you're going to click on iPhone and then you want to select whichever phone you have so I have the iPhone 6 I'm going to scroll right here to iPhone 6 just click on it and as you can see right here these are the firmware that's, that's being signed at the moment so 10.3.3 is being signed as of the 25th of September so it might change tomorrow, it might change in a week who knows but you can downgrade from iOS 11 to back to 10.3.3 right now so you want to click on the firmware after you figure out what phone you have click right there then you want to hit download right here but I already did that so let's close that out I have it on my desktop here it is right here so we're going to open up iTunes again and you can't do the, the, the old method that we would do to save all our information you can't do that anymore because Apple has a new file system iOS 10 and iOS 11 has a total different file system Apple has basically started using their own file system which is the Apple file system which is APFS which is a lot smaller every all the everything the picture is gonna be a lot smaller in size so after you upgrade to iOS 11 your phone might get more memory so it might move from 20 gigabytes free to 23 gigabytes free because the whole file system has been compressed and everything is different in iOS 11 so the, the old method of just hitting shift and update and then you click on the firmware that you downloaded and you, all your information will be saved that's out of it if you're going from iOS 11 to 10 so first thing you want to do create a backup make sure you create a backup just in case you want to upgrade back to iOS 11 then you could basically do a, a restore or a backup and backup all the device so backup everything on iOS 11 before you do this just in case you want to jump back to iOS 11 I know I'm random but yeah so now you want to hit on Windows is shift restore on Mac is command it's, it's option I'm sorry it's option restore okay find my iPhone must be turned off before you do this so to turn off find my iPhone basically you just want to go into it right up here you just want to hit you just want to tap on that and basically you want to tap on iCloud and then you want to scroll down to where you see find my iPhone right there and you want to turn it off it's going to ask you for your iTunes password put that in and as you can see it says turning off find my iPhone and now it's off so now you can go back to doing it Mac is option restore Windows is shift restore so there you go it's prompting me to search for my firmware and I could basically just find it there it is right there and the old method if we wanted to save everything would hit shift update but because of the whole new Apple file system those days are over not really over but just when you're doing from 11 to 10 but if you're doing from 11.1 .1 back to iOS 11.0 then that will work even though iOS 11.1 .1 is not out yet so there you go it says extracting software basically the whole process is done right now my phone is rebooting you can unplug your phone right now close out the iTunes
Olá. Come on. So you don't have to set up from scratch. That's the thing when you're downgrading from iOS 11 back to 10. You're gonna have to set up from scratch. Get started. And boom. We're back on iOS 10. We see our old styler notifications. I mean, control center. Scroll that way. So let's go to general about. You can see right there 10.3.3. So that's the downside about downgrading from iOS 11 back to 10 is that you're going to lose all your information because the new Apple file system is not working with the old one. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That's how you downgrade from iOS 11 back to iOS 10.3.3. Sprint today, TP 101. Rate, comment, subscribe. Make sure to do this as soon as possible because 10.3.3 could be... Apple could stop signing 10.3.3 any moment. So, peace.